My name is Meshak Zeki. I'm the founder and director of uh, Jutong Farm Business. Uh, we are based in uh, Nakuru, uh, Murunu. This is a Bati constituency. And uh, as you can see, this is a farm that is generally doing organic farming. We are advocating much on use of uh, manure and uh, organic solutions from our plants. And uh, we came here, this place was very dry in terms of um, uh, water. Most of the people around the farmers are a lot of, have a lot of challenge uh, doing vegetable and not really vegetable farming, but doing organic vegetable farming. We have introduced this uh, uh, farming here. We are doing multi-story kitchen garden. Many of them call it a vertical garden or kitchen garden, as I can call it. And uh, with my team, we have introduced this uh, kitchen garden, garden farming around here in Nakuru and many other places we shall go to undertake this uh, farming. And many of the farmers have picked it, even those who have big farms, because we need to do uh, vegetables that are able to give you good health. We have actually three pillars we are uh, standing with, uh, food security, nutrition, we are also taking care of uh, uh, climate change in terms of um, recycling the plastic material which we are using to make the kitchen garden. And as you are aware, everybody is talking about climate change. And when we do, uh, destroy our, 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 our soil using chemicals, we will not have a place now to, 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 to harvest, a place to grow our crops. Multi-story kitchen garden, it, it conserves a lot of water. It is made from a plastic, a recycled plastic, which are black, and uh, that shows the moisture content is controlled, it, it is preserved. Uh, we are using minimal uh, fertilizer, organic fertilizer. It is easy to manage. It is easy even to take care of that farm in a commercial way, because we are, the concentration is on one area. As you can see, these are small plots which we have managed to come up with uh, many uh, kitchen gardens. As you can see, we are doing around uh, 22 uh, pieces of uh, kitchen garden and we are <coughs> targeting around 40 of them. And uh, 40 of them, each kitchen garden will give you around um, uh, 6 kilos per day. And you know, a kilo can even go for a, a higher uh, amount of money. And that is why we are encouraging people to go organically because, as you can see, these leaves actually um, they are not they are uh, containing the scorch of the sun because the chemical the, 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 the solution we are using organically they cannot allow the sun to, 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 to destroy the crops. That's why you can see our crops are very green. They are, the chlorophyll is, uh, is maintained and also. Yes, you can see we are doing mulching. When you do mulching to kitchen garden, you control uh, evaporation. And there is no a lot of evaporation. This one kitchen garden, it has six story. And a six story can take around 100 or 130 siblings. And you use around 20 liters of water per day. Or you can to put 20 liters left today and tomorrow. You can even jab that day and then you do it the next week. You can do it even three times in a week. Or mostly when you have water, it's good, you can do it weekly by every day. But generally, the kitchen garden will use little amount of water. So you will not complain about uh, hardship of getting water. So it is viable for hurried and some hurried. And uh, around where you are, you are able to grow. If you say you are in a plot, you can grow. Uh, vegetables and they're good for your family. You can do household and you can do also commercial. So what, what inspired you to do this? Well, I'm a journalist by profession and uh, when I was doing my journalism I saw I went to many areas. Where you go you find the place is dry you cannot take even a, a short, good shot and this discouraged me so much and they asked me so what can I do? How can you do, uh, make the, 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 the place green 
So I decided now, because I'm in the area of agriculture, how can I do something that can also make me uh, feel good when I'm doing it? So I decided now to go for farming, from journalism to farming. And in terms of um, achievements, uh, you know, journalism you can be you are paid in terms of salaries and all this. But when you are doing farming, you get more money than when you're in that field of journalism. So I decided to go on farming and uh, not gen just farming, but to go on smart farming. Where you get money, you get share, now you get more exposure in terms of farming and new technology and innovations in, in agriculture. As you can see, we are, this innovation, we are uh, a campaign, and it is a technology that is sustainable because uh, the kitchen garden farming is sustainable. This plastic can save over 10 years doing farming in that uh, 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 material. The farm, what we are doing, we are doing even more research on skuma, spinach, and these plants. When you plant it in a kitchen garden, it can stay for, for over a year. So you will not be changing. Like now you can see we have different uh, varieties of skuma. I'm also doing research when I'm doing farming. There's a long one, there's a short one. And this is how I know the best, the best uh, variety of my farmers. So it is good to do this farming and it is sustainable and anybody can do it. So I'm happy that I'm, I'm championing this uh, program. But I'm insisting to the government to see where the rubber meets the, the food. Is it okay or maybe? Uh, because this is where a farmer can benefit. This is where people can get good food. Food that is with no chemical, and in terms of uh, healthy, in terms of healthy, they will be able now to minimize the cost that they use more to go to hospital than to take their vegetables.